So feet on the floor, prone instability test. So feet on the floor, all right? I find her lumbar spine, all right? And then what I do is I just give her pressure. Pretty good pressure, right? Do you have any discomfort with that? Okay. Is it straight down or is it a little straight down? Straight down. Straight down. All right, straighten out, okay? And then I have her lift her legs off, so now she, her muscles all contract and it stabilizes her, all right? And then I push down again, all right? So if she had pain, relax. So if she had pain here, all right? And then contracted, stabilized, no pain, that's a positive test, all right? She has no pain here, okay? I don't even have to go any further, right? She has no pain with her feet on the floor, I already know it's name. What about pain with both? Then you're in trouble. Then they have no stabilization. Maybe they won't be able to lift their legs off even, right? They're really weak. Okay. All right. Uh, on your tummy. Sacral spring test. Looks like a gymnast. All right. So apex. All right. So base of the sacrum, apex of the sacrum. All right, so all we're doing is just pushing down, straight down. All right, and then asking the patient what they feel, you know. So if she complains of pain here, okay, I'm probably not going to do this test. If she complains of pain here, okay, one of these areas here, lumbosacral junction or down in here, I'm for sure going to be doing this. Okay, and then um, compression, SI compression, she lies on her side. So the table, right, is right there. I put my hand on her iliac crest right here, all right, and then I just push down. So I'm compressing the SI joint. All right, and I'm asking her what she feels. And then on her uh, back, so the distraction, all right? So I put my hands on our ASISs and I just push. You know, I can do a little bit of diagonal push here, okay? Try to separate the anterior portion of our SI joint. You're gonna have to use, a, you know, if people are super tender and super painful, you won't need to use a lot of force. But if they've had, you know, pain for a while, you may have to use a little bit of force, right? To elicit some discomfort. 